water. It's good for you. Normally I like to drink eh, two or three of these a day. It's really good for you. So typically you want to drink half your body weight in water. It's really, really good for you. So just figured I'd get a few sips down before we start. Let's do this. Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're finally sitting down in a new angle in the studio. Hope it looks really good. As you can see right here, I actually got my mic boomed off right to the side. Figured that's something different to try. It actually looks really good in shot. I'm extremely impressed with that. I hope the picture is coming out really nicely. I'm shooting on a new camera. If you follow me on Instagram, you can actually see what I'm shooting on. Shout out to Brian's Lawn Maintenance for this rig. Really, really appreciate it. If I got some footage at the end of this video, I'm gonna throw in a little sequence I put together actually of where I got the camera and um, some little bit of footage I grabbed right as I brought that package in. But before we start, I figured I'd do a little bit of unboxing. I actually received two packages in the mail. Got this one here and uh, this one here. But I figured uh, I'd go ahead and start with this one here. folks at a uh, stable brand look at that and uh, got their 360 protection and what else oh, they sent their fast fix small engine treatment and an envelope and uh, nice bunch of stickers too look at that they sent uh Overall, they're, they're cool designs here. I'm sure you can see this. That's awesome. Check out that sticker though, that's cool. <sighs> they even sent a note. So thank you to the folks over at Stable. I actually did send out your stickers last week, so you guys should be getting some stickers back, but uh, let's continue on with our unboxing. This one is from My Soil my soil there you go anyway let's see what they sent by the way this is my other milwaukee knife i'm a pretty good fan of this one not bad um oh nice they actually sent two of their soil tests so this is what they look like here focus there you go soil test kit so they actually sent two of them so we'll be trying these out alongside the other soil test kits we've actually got from this year but i am really impressed with this, this is actually a, a newer uh startup company anyway guys let's continue on and talk about the real reason why i brought you guys to this video i figured we'd talk about what's going on out in my lawn as i mentioned in last week's video if you have not seen that video i'll leave a link in the top right hand corner if you have not seen that video we actually talked about poet trivialis in the lawn and with Poet Trivialis being in the lawn, I'm pretty sure it's Poet Trivialis. Although there's also another type of Poa, it's called Poa Annua. And those are two different types of winter weeds that come in. They're typically a lime green color. And during the spring, they actually have seed heads. I'll put a few pictures up on the screen from what mine actually looked like this past spring. I know I took a few pictures of it, but that's been an issue I've been dealing with for a long time now. I just haven't gotten around to digging it up and it really looks its worst during the winter. Poa comes out in the winter time it really gets that lime green color, it gets seed heads in the spring, and it also grows vigorously during the winter. So it's typically something you don't like to see in your lawn. So I finally wanted to tackle that issue while I was out there last week showing that video and I was like, man, look at all this Poe in the lawn. I'm like, I got these few little tiny patches. The biggest one was like six inches by three inches. I was like, let's just treat this with a more effective approach than just getting out there and spraying it. I was like, 
Well, you know it would be good content if I just got out there and dug out this Poe Trivialis. <laughs> dug it all out by hand but then I was like well, I got these little spots in the lawn what should I do about that so I decided the best way to do that is I actually took some soil from my garden out back mixed it with a little bit of the GCI turf tall fescue grass seed which is what we have been using in my lawn it's what I overseeded the backyard with if you have not seen the whole fall lawn overseeding playlist that was a huge one I did in my lawn that was a 12 video sequence from this fall i'll leave that linked in the top right hand corner as well as linked in the description down below if you have not gotten to check that out that is definitely one you don't want to miss that was one of my favorites i really did love that playlist so if you have not checked it out i put a lot of work into that playlist to make sure there was plenty of content there for you guys so make sure you get over there and check that one out so anyway i mixed the topsoil from the garden as well as the seed together and i actually seeded those spots now this is going to touch base into the dormant seeding, which typically is not normally done on a lawn, but I did it just for some content. Typically, you want to seed these spots that you want some seed to grow, eh, kind of in the later, later bits of winter, if you're having a mild winter. You're not going to see germination typically like you'd see germination in the fall, which is going to be that typically that same range you'd see seeding in that late window where your soil temperatures are sitting below 75, but above 55 is your optimal soil time to germinate for seed. But I wanted to give it a shot because I've seen a lot of people different trying it. And this, the sun, the water, the snow can all join together to help build a nice even blanket over top of the seed. Keep that seed warm during winter and coming out in spring before your pre-emergent goes down, some of that seed will germinate. Obviously, you're not going to get as good germination as you would in doing it in the fall or in the spring if you skip your crabgrass pre-emergent, but you're still going to get some decent germination, and sometimes it's just worth a shot. So I gave it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, we'll keep you guys updated on that. Other than that, I really don't have any other projects going on in the house. I'm sure you guys have seen the studio now. You're going to see this, sh this set from inside change all different types of angles. I'm happy with how this looks. Finally got the lighting master with a nice cinematic look on the side of my face, the fall off shadows. I've been watching a lot of videos, some of the best ones from Peter McKinnon and a few other guys I've been watching. But I'm really happy with this desk downstairs. So other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the box down below. With that, I'm Aiden from Azel and Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.